Good morning, everyone. I'm really excited to show you my new acquisition, my Gucci bag. This is my very first Gucci bag. Um, I actually recently sold a Louis Vuitton bag that I wasn't using. Um, it was canvas with some leather, and I actually was able to get this for the same price. So uh, it was pretty much an even exchange. It was pretty great. I'm running out of space. My closet is absolutely running uh, out the door. It's, it's, <laughs> it's just busting open. And um, if I'm not wearing a bag, there's just no point in having, you know, over $1,000 just sitting there. Um, so my first Gucci bag. I never was honestly interested in Gucci bags until I saw... A video on the um, the Soho Disco, I think it's called, and I was thinking I wanted to get that eventually because it's a really cute little um, what do you call it um, crossbody bag. But then I saw this just randomly on someone's video, and I was like, oh my gosh! So I'll show you why. So here is um, the dust bag, and normally I'm like, whatever, it's a dust bag, but this one's really really nice. It's the um, Oh God, I always forget the word for it, but it's like the pull top. It's, as you can see, it's the tie top one. I don't like, um, I love Louis Vuitton, but I don't like how the dust bags flop over on most of them. I really like the ones that cinch at the top. So I like that. I like the fact that it's got these metal grommets and this really cute, I'm not sure what this cording is made out of, but it's a really nice bag and I feel like it's really going to um, protect my purse. So it's pretty cool. Anyway, here you go. This is how it comes. I guess to protect the leather from the handles, you don't want to like squish, you know, the, the Gucci pattern. So here it is. It is the, let's see if I say it right, the Micro Guccissima Boston bag. Um, it's very reminiscent, of course, of the Louis Vuitton Speedy. Um, Louis Vuitton, of course, has the, now let me see if I say this right, the, I'm not going to say it right, the Empriente leather. I'm not sure how to say it, but the one that's imprinted with LVs. I've said this to you guys before. I speak three languages. French is not one of them. Portuguese, Spanish, English. That's it. Anyway, so I'm sorry I, I end up just butchering the French language. Um, so here is the side view and the back. And of course it has Gucci right on the front. It's got the, um, this is why it's called the micro because it's got the little GGs, which I really love because it doesn't scream like Gucci bag. You know what I mean? So, um, I think it's, it's subtle, but it's, I just think it's gorgeous. Um, I honestly wasn't looking for a Gucci bag. I just saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Um, I've never had a bag like that. And um, it's like, I paid like a third of what I would pay for the all leather Speedy. So I was like, yes, I'm loving it. So anyway, the zipper is a really substantial, nice zipper. The zipper pull is very um, sturdy. It doesn't feel like it's going to rip off. It's not a soft leather. It's doubled up. So I feel good about that. Um, there is Gucci written. I'm not sure if it's going to come out. I apologize. Gucci written here um, on the metal. It's here on the, uh, the buttons, the grommets. I, I think they're called... You know what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, and here also, so it says Gucci on every little piece of it. Um, but I just, it's just such a subtle bag. I just, I really love this. Um, and you can use it as a shoulder bag. You can use it as a cross body bag, but it's a little short. Um, let me see. They said it was a 19 inch drop, but I haven't measured it to be honest with you. Now, Let's get into specifics. So I love these rolled handles. I really like these because there is a Boston bag like this. It might be a larger size, I don't know. But it has like a floppy handle, almost like, like the strap. The handles look like this on the other one. And when I saw this on eBay, because that's where I ended up getting it, 
I was like, can you make sure I'm getting the hard rolled handles? I don't want, because they had mostly pictures of this bag and then they had a couple that had the soft handles. And I was like, make up your mind, which bag are you selling? And she's like, oh, that was a mistake, sorry. And she fixed it. Um, so I really, I didn't like the floppy handles like this. I like these hard rolled handles um, as I am a Louis Vuitton lover. Um, so here is the clasp on the hardware. Um, I like the Louis Vuitton clasps better. But this is more, you know, regular every day. But um, it does say Gucci here. Gosh, I hope I'm able to get it to focus for you. Um, so that goes there. All right. So I have it on the longest setting because I wanted the option to wear it crossbody if I had to. But... Again, it, it's a little short to be crossbody, so it sits kind of high on the hip. But when you want options, when you're out and you just want to throw it on, you can. It doesn't look ridiculous. It's just a little short. I'm 5'2 and a half, so I can get away with it, I guess. And then you've got the other holes, and you can make it shorter and just wear it on your shoulder. And I don't like the fact that they don't have an extra um, little loop down here so that when you decide to make it shorter... This isn't flapping in the wind, but um, I'm not the first YouTuber to talk about this bag, and I'm not the first YouTuber to talk about this issue, but I'm just telling you because it's something that bugs me. Um, so check this out. Oh, this is what I have inside. This is actually Michael Kors, and I normally am not, like, big into Michael Kors, but some of the accessories are so cute. Look how cute that is. I use it for, like, coins and, like... I use it basically like a little wallet. Cute. Anyway, so check this out. You're going to love this, I think. So I wanted this bag to stay as um, structured as possible. I know some people don't like that. Just like with Louis Vuitton, they like it to get smushy with age. I do not. If it looks like this in the picture, that's what I want it to look like when I carry it. So um, check this out. I was hoping this would work, and it did. Um, I did a video on my... Um, purse shapers or purse organizers before that I got at 47th Heaven on Etsy. So if you haven't seen it, you can check out that video. But check this out. I bought this with the um, oval opening. See how the sides go out more? I bought this specifically for, oh, I've got the bag here. Hold on. For this speedy, uh, sp yeah, right. This, um, Neverfull MM in the monogram, right? So that's because it matches the inside. And the fact that it has these oval, it has this oval opening, it actually fits the bag really nicely so it doesn't look too square when you're carrying it because you don't want it to look square. So I was crossing my fingers that this would work because I was like, I can't find anybody that makes um, purse organizers. I'm sure it's out there, but I just couldn't find purse organizers for this bag. So I was like, oh, the dimensions seem awfully close to the, um, what do you call it? Um, the Neverfull MM. I'm like, I hope it works because it's a little bigger than the Speedy, which I'll show you in a minute. And so today I tried it and it totally worked. So let me show you the inside of the bag first. Not thrilled with the inside of the bag. I'll be honest with you. I don't like it. It's kind of like a rough cottony material, but whatever. I mean, it's nice and thick and it's gonna last for like ever, but you know, it's not fancy. Um, and here's the Gucci tag. And I did research on Gucci before I bought this bag to make sure that I knew what a real Gucci was, what a fake Gucci was, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so, I will have it authenticated, but I'm, I'm really, after the research I've done, I'm sure about it anyway, but I'm not worried. Anyway, so it's got like that zip pocket and it's got two pockets that are for like cell phone or whatever. So I take this, you squish it and carefully, you don't want to mess up your bag, carefully stick it in here and the oval sides just flatten out. It's no big deal. But I really like this because the having the oval sides push out a little bit is good because it makes it a little more sturdy. And um, 
this works unbelievably for my Neverfulls. So I'm so excited that it works inside this bag. I'm so happy. And I'm, I didn't try the um, Speedy one, but this isn't, I'll show you. Here's my Speedy 30. Here's my Speedy 30 um, in the Demira Ben next to it. So it's not a huge difference, but there is a little bit of a difference. Let's see if you can see that. Okay. So these are pretty, it's hard because they're, you know, they're not sharp edges, so it's hard. But see how this, there's about, I don't know, three quarters of an inch or something difference. Can you see here? From here to here. You know, I, I'd say tops, it's an inch difference. Again, it's hard to get an exact measurement when you're dealing with soft bags. But yeah, it's probably like an inch, right? tops so that and then um so it's a little longer put it that way and then height wise i don't know how easy it's gonna be to show height wise it's taller as well let me see yeah it looks like a few inches taller let me move the camera so height wise it's you know a few inches taller it's a much bigger difference um, in the height. So, um, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry this isn't like a really exact um, comparison, but you can, you know, you can look up the measurements. But my point is, it's taller and it's slightly wider. Someone said they thought it was more like the 35. I don't think so. I think it'd be more like a, you know, 33. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not, I don't think it's quite a 35, but it's bigger than a 30. So anyway... That's that. So maybe you can use the um, 30 insert um, in it, but it's going to be a little short. So it's not going to, I mean, you can use it. It will organize your bag, but it's not going to give you the, um, the shape that it's supposed to give you. It's not going to give you that support that the Neverfull MM one will. And if you go to 47th Heaven, you can get um, this and you can get this... Uh, I'm so I, I don't know why the words don't come to me. Once I get on camera, I just like lose my words. But um, the Neverfull MM purse organizer, if you get it with, I got it in the tight fit, which means it's a little bit bigger, so it really fits the bag exactly, the Neverfull. And I got the oval opening where the rounded sides give you that um, shape so that your bag doesn't end up like right now the bag looks really square because I've just got paper stuffed in it. But when I put that organizer in, it, it kind of keeps its oval top shape. You know what I mean? But again, when you put it in here, it just pushes against the sides and it gets smushed. So for me, this works. Um, I'm really excited about this bag. I'm really excited about owning a piece of Gucci because again, I never thought it was gonna be my thing. I've only seen two or three other Gucci bags ever that I've been interested in, but this one was so different and so so special. Um, and it's the new version because the other Boston bag, just so you know, the other Gucci-sima Boston bag, and some people are calling it the micro and it's not, like, like on eBay or other websites. The micro is the one with the little GGs and the little squares versus the other one like, it would have, the GGs would be way bigger and the these squares would be like at least double the size, double, triple the size. You know, it's just, it's much more obvious. It's much bigger. Um, but I really wanted something a little more subtle. So I'm really, really happy with this. Uh, and I hope that I answered questions you may have. If you have any other questions, please ask. Um, and thanks for watching my video. Have a great day.